So the first step in dealing with rational expressions, remember what rational means, that means it's some kind of a fraction. The first step in dealing with rational expressions is knowing how to simplify them. And you've actually already done this before. If you imagine the fraction 2 fourths, you can just think about this, and everyone knows this is just 1 half. But the way you do that, the way you do this in your head, is you say, well, 2 is just 2, but 4, that's 2 times 2. And then you cancel out one of these 2s on top and bottom. When you cancel them out, it's a 1 left behind, and that's equal to 1 half. In a little more detail, here's what we're doing. We're saying 2 fourths equals 2 over 2 times 2, which equals 2 over 2 times 1 over 2, and then that cancels out. Okay, so we're going to be taking the same approach now, except these rational expressions have uh, variables in them, which I don't think it makes it any harder. Uh, we just have to keep track of the exponents. So what do we have here in this one? Uh, 56, that is uh, something times something. What is this? 8 times 7, I think. So we've got 8 times 7, x cubed, y to the 8th, and, oh gosh, what is that thing? I don't know. Z to the 5th. And we're dividing it by negative 40, which is negative 8 times 5. X to the 6th y, and we're going to say z squared. So I see a factor of 8 on top and bottom. We can cross that out. 7 and 5 are prime numbers. They're not going to cancel out. But if you look at the exponents and the variables, these, these are really where it gets easy. Because if I have something, let's take z for example. z to the fifth over z squared. What's that equal to? Well, it's z, 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 divided by z, z. And there's a pair, and there's a pair. So all that's left is z to the cubed power, or z to the third power. Or in other words, you just subtract the exponents and you're good. So this x cubed cancels out, and that one is left with a 3. Um, this y cancels out, and that one is left with a 7. And this z squared cancels out, and it leaves behind a 3. So what we have here is 7, no x's, there's a y to the seventh power, and a z cubed, all divided by negative 5 uh, let's see, we've got an x, and that's it. So this would be your answer. If you want to write that in terms of negative 7 over 5, that's fine. Um, I don't think it matters too much. Now, when you have factored terms, these some people actually like these a little better. They're, they get easier. So 30 over 18, well, let's just think about that for a moment. 30 over 18 equals 6 times 5 over 6 times 3. The 6s cancel out. So we've got 5 over 3. Okay, that's our first, that's the numeric part of this. And then if you look at these, uh, these binomials, these are going to cancel out the exact same way that x's and y's canceled out in that last example. So I've got one of them down here and two of them up there. That leaves one behind on top. So there's my x minus 7, or, or phi minus 7, if you prefer. Let's get a phi in there. And then uh, I've got a phi minus 4 and a phi minus 2. And that's it. That's as far as you can go with it. This next one over here, 30 over 24 turns into, I think that's 5 over 4. And this phi minus 7 cancels out with that phi minus 7. So all we have in this one is phi minus 8 on top and phi minus 4 on bottom. And that's simplified form.